Thank you for joining us today at Agri Supply. Today we'll be discussing the uh, just a brief discussion on Charlene Motors that we, that we do sell. We sell the H series hydraulic motors. As you see, they have the one inch shaft and with the quarter inch half moon key, their ports, half inch. And here, as you can see, the model number of this particular motor is 101. Dash one zero zero two dash zero zero nine. Now let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at what defines differences in the Charlene eight series type motors that we do stock. All right, let's begin by pointing out something here. See where my knife blade is in that crease there. Okay. Now I'll take this piece and show you the other crease right there where this end cap, imagine this end cap coming off so that crease there the, this particular band or whatever you would like to call it, spacer ring is called a gerotor this particular one on the 002 the gerotor width is 3 eighths of an inch now let's talk about this motor just briefly now it's 3 eighths of an inch here we also, the largest Charlene 8 series motor that we stock, the numbering system is the same, but here it's a 1008. That particular gerotor on that one extends, extends out to a total of 2 inches. So that determines, that tells you a lot of things there. If you're just eyeballing a, uh, one, one of the, hydraulic, the Charlene hydraulic motors, and what that tells you is, is that in this case, this particular one is the 3 eighths of an inch width your rotor. Now, the RPMs at 12 gallons a minute of flow, if you're feeding this motor 12 gallons a minute, the RPMs on this particular motor is 723. Now, if we had that 1008 motor here with us today, as we said it would be a wider gerotor, so it would be a little longer. It had a 2 inch gerotor width. The RPMs on that one is not but 147. So roughly seven times faster this one is over the 10008. Now let's look at torque. This torque is measured in inch pounds. The torque on this 002 is 1044. On the 008, the torque is 3597. So roughly three and a half times more torque. So here's summing it all up. The narrower the band, the faster it turns, but the less strength it has. The wider the band, the slower it turns, but the more strength it has. And we do stock, you know, roughly five other size motors. If we can help you, please give us a call. And we hope that this has cleared the air some for you on hydraulic motors today. And these can power anything. I just happened to think, wanting to add this in, uh, you know, they, sometimes they do power other pumps, hydraulic pumps. There are situations where sprockets can be put on here and for some reason is powering a sprocket or a roller chain connecting to something else. There are sand spreaders out there, or maybe even fertilizer spreaders out there where a spinner plate would fit right up here, powered here. Turn into spinner, it would be like a broadcast spreader, spreading sand on icy and snowy roads and such. So several uses for them. Um, and, and those type of things there. But if we can help you at Agri Supply, please give us a call. Thanks for joining us today, and have a good day.